So here it goes. Welcome back to Sam's AI Automation. Today, what we're going to be doing is building a backlink automator. In fact, it's a backlink and content automator, really. Basically, the importance of backlinks when it comes to SEO is, is paramount. I mean, if you look at Google, Google, one of its biggest ranking factors is backlinks. By backlinks, what I mean is, say you've got a blog post, anything that links into that blog post is going to help with your, with your search rankings in Google. And there's, it's a, they're, they're really quite difficult to do by hand. It'll take you forever. So hence, um, this automator is a really, really handy way to actually to actually build out backlinks. And I mean, this this is just a very fairly simple example of how it could be used. You could expand this to have, I mean, in this case, I've used Medium, Medium.com, and only only social pages I've used as a Facebook. But you could extend that really to as many as you want and as many as make.com will actually allow you to do. So let's talk through exactly what we've got here. So what we're doing is we're using ChatGPT to, to set a topic or make a topic for a particular particular subject. Now, the subject I've chosen is affiliate marketing simply because I have a WordPress blog that does that talks about affiliate marketing. It's quite old and it's quite useful for this particular example because... I mean, it doesn't matter what I post on there anymore because I don't think many people look at it anyway. And maybe, maybe creating some backlinks will actually help with that. Actually, although I don't really maintain the blog, so and that's not a focus of mine. But anyway, um, so we'll set a topic based on affiliate marketing. Uh, in fact, I won't look inside that just yet. We'll we'll come back and look at the configuration when we run it in just a minute. Uh, here we're creating a tagline, just a simple short excerpt of exactly what we're talking about. Uh, we create a 500 page, sorry, a 500 word blog post. And we would create what's called a slug. That's just a short description of what the the topic is in a, in a format that's useful for WordPress or for, for, a, for a, a URL. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit. Um, Leonardo AI. This is going to create us an image for the blog post. Um, it's actually quite good, quite amazing what Leonardo can actually produce. Uh, this gets the, the image as, as a file. Then what we do is we create a post in WordPress based on this blog post that we've created, created earlier in, in ChatGPT. Uh, we get the information from the post that we create. We upload the image we've created with, with Leonardo AI. Uh, then we go off and we create a social post about our blog post, which gives us our first backlink. Then we go down and we post the same blog to medium.com. And that gives us another backlink to our, to our original blog, both as a canonical link, which is a link that shows that the one on medium.com is not the original. The original is actually the one we've done in WordPress. And also I've, I did a separate link within the text of the medium.com, which I'll show in a minute. And then the last backlink we get, which is a link to a link to a link, effectively, um, is, a, is a Facebook social page advertising the medium.com post. Okay. So, in fact, before before I run it through, I might show on an old one I've run earlier today. So let's have a look at it and see what the app end result is. We've got a medium.com. Let's go to, let's just find where we are. We can find our stories. Here we go, 2024 Guide to Mastering Affiliate Marketing Strategies for Maximum Profit. This is one we did earlier. In fact, that's a draft. We want this one here, The Ultimate Guide to Affiliate Marketing Success into 2024. Okay, so Leonardo.com's created this amazing image. Uh, I mean, it's a big, long thing. Uh, reasonably good. I had a read through it before. It's not bad. Uh, this one has the canonical link, but it doesn't have the actual in-text link, which I will have in the next one we produce. Uh, that's that. Look at our blog. Here's the actual full blog. I mean, same story, different website, basically. Uh, is that the same one? Actually, that might not be the same one, but it's, it's very similar to the one we're looking at. I've created a number of these as practice beforehand, as you, as you can imagine. Uh, in Facebook, here's the medium.com post uh, as a Facebook post. And also the uh, affiliate marketing post as well, which is the direct link to the affiliate intent website. Let's go back to make and we'll actually run one through. I'm not sure what's happened to my image. Let's see if we can get that back. 
In fact, why don't we close that? This doesn't seem to be working. Turn it back on. There we go. Okay, I'm back. All right, so what we're going to do is run this now. Let's run him. Okay, so it starts by creating a topic. Uh, run it through. In fact, what I'll do, I'll run it through. We'll have a look at the output and then we'll come back and just check out some of the configuration. Takes a little while for ChatGPT to write 500 words, as you can imagine, but it's a hell of a lot. Clip. It's a considerable amount quicker than a human, as you'd imagine. Uh, same with the image. And off it goes to WordPress, create a post. Uploads the image, uh, creates the Facebook post. All right, the WordPress one will be ready, so let's have a look at that while we're waiting for that. We'll go to home. Oh, it's taking its time. The joys of internet, eh? Let's have a look. Okay. Let's see if it posted it to the home page. No, it hasn't yet, so we'll move back up to the top. We'll go to affiliate marketing strategy. Typically, it'll show up in this page. My... Okay, I'll just wait for the buffering to finish. That's the old one. We'll refresh. Okay, we might have to look within the... Within the WordPress admin itself, it doesn't seem to be ad updating quick enough. Okay, so here's the new one. We'll view it. Uh, it's a little bit slow today. Okay, top affiliate marketing trends to watch in 2024 for maximum revenue potential. Okay, the subject doesn't really matter. That This is an illustration of what's happening. You can see the image. That looks pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what the intention is there, but it's sort of, it's a very well rendered image, that's for sure. Okay, funnily enough, it talks about AI and machine learning. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty solid. Uh, just reading through it quickly, it looks looks like it's pretty well written. Uh, we'll go to medium.com. That's the old one we're looking at. We'll check out what we've got. Stories. Published. Refresh. Just wait for that to refresh. Okay, here's a new one. Top affiliate marketing trends to watch in 2024. Okay, see, same image. Okay, you get the idea. We'll see a link down there. Here's the link I put in. Uh, don't ask me what this is. That's probably a bit of a hallucination on the behalf of uh, Chat GPT. Anyway, we'll remove that later. In fact, we'll remove that now. Delete. No. We'll come back to that anyway later. Uh, go back to make.com. Medium, okay. okay, so coming back to actually working out how this actually works, we'll have a look at the chat GPT. And you can pause this and, and copy the prompt, you're more than welcome to. Just wait for it to open up. <coughs> okay, basically it just says that, it, that we're an ex expert affiliate marketing uh, who, who has a blog. Um, and this one is specifically to create an affiliate marketing blog post title. Uh, I had to tell it to remove any quotation marks because I kept on putting them in, but we've done that. Uh, the next one creates a tagline. This is just a short excerpt that's useful further down the track in some of our other, other uh, modules. Gee, it's taking its time. Okay. Using the previous result, being the title, create a catchy subheading of 100 characters, 
Okay, again, I've asked it not to include quotation marks. Now, this is probably the meat and bones of it, creating the blog post, the written post. Okay, you're an expert in affiliate marketing. Write a post of approximately 500 words on the topic being the result of one, the topic, and two, the tagline. The post should be in HTML code. Always Now, this stuff here I had to put because it kept on putting comments around the code, which made it unrunnable further along. So I'll put that in just to make sure that we actually got a, a, a usable result. That's just a, a thing with ChatGPT quite often. Okay, creating a slug. This is just a small uh, description that's useful for SEO and for U the URLs in WordPress. Uh, 50 characters and only include alphanumeric characters and hyphens. That's okay. Now, Leonardo. Leonardo is pretty, pretty easy to create quite beautiful images, really. Um, I mean, you can get as funky as you like with the prompt. This is a very basic one. Um, this 3D animation style model seems to work really well. There's 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 plenty of different styles. In fact, there's really no shortage. Uh, but I really like 3D 3D the 3D lifelike image. A 3D animation style is quite good. Uh, we specify the size of the image here, as you can see. Uh, the rest of it I've left as is. Now the thing is, we we need to get this file once we've actually up up created in Leonardo because Leonardo gives us back a URL. So here we just get the generated images, uh, the URL that we need. WordPress, we create the post based on the following information. Move myself out of the way. Okay, so here's the title, we being the one we created in one. The content is the main, main blog post we created in three. The type is posts, excerpt, two, that's what, this is where we use the tagline we've created. The date and time is now. Uh, this is a function within, uh, where is it? I think it's here. Uh, no, it's under date functions within make.com. Uh, 16 being results is actually, that's the slug, which we created in, in step this step here. Uh, I've pre-selected the category. Oh, you could pre-select tags if you like. I've left the author as myself and I've left media ID as blank because we fill that in later. Uh, what this returns is, is only basically the post ID, which we then use to in get a post. Here, we're just getting all the information about the previous post we've just created being the post ID. And here is where we use it because we're actually uploading the image, image that we created in Leonardo into the post ID that we created in this step here being step 13. Uh, so we map the data, we've got to create a file name. Important to use map rather than HTTP, get a file, I find. Just, just being able to create the file name is actually a real benefit. Uh, 16, that's just the... The title is, in fact, I've used the slug here. That's probably not the best one, actually. Let's make it, uh, we'll make it a tagline, which is two. Tagline two, that one. We'll keep it as that. Alternative text, in fact, now we've got alternative text. Let's just remove that. We won't have any alt text. Uh, I'll just go okay. Okay, that was uploaded. Now here we're splitting off into two sections. Now you could split off into Facebook, you could go to Instagram, you could go to Twitter, you could go to LinkedIn. There's no real shortage. Just because I only have a Facebook page for this particular topic is just the only reason I've chosen Facebook. Um, let's have a quick look at that. <clears throat> okay, so connected to it. Page is affiliate intent, which is my Facebook page. It, it'll auto select your all your pages. So here, that, that's what ones I have access to. Uh, message. So this is the, the actual, the post message. Uh, I've chosen two being the tagline, plus for more information, click here. And a link being the one we get from the get a post. And medium.com. This is important. Okay, so I've got the title is the same title we used in, in part one. Uh, format is HTML because we know this, this result we get from the blog post is actually 
uh, HTML. Uh, here, what I've done is create an image, which is the Leonardo image with the URL of the Leonardo image, and this pastes it at the top of the Medium post. Then we have the Medium text, and here I've just left a little extra. This post is from my blog post at affiliateintent.com, just as an extra link just for to help with SEO. Now, importantly, canonical URL, you need to put this just to prove that the WordPress is actually the original post, not the medium.com one. Okay, so that's it. And the last thing is just the medium post you know, on Facebook. I've just left it. My latest spec post on medium.com can be found here and the URL from medium. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Gee, it's been a long video for my standards. Anyway, um, thanks very much. Uh, I might leave it at that. Thanks. Bye.